I like the monument because it's, it's varied. It has a lot of different features. It has the canyons, the deep canyons. Many of them have water in them, so you have a riparian area. Animals up here basically are nocturnal. They come out at night. It's cooler at night, and if they're a small animal, like a ground squirrel, um, it's harder for predators, such as owls and things, to see them or find them. And large animals like deer are trying to conserve moisture because it's very dry up here, so they're going to come out basically at night also. The animals can be active during the day, but they tend to be early in the morning, so, or in the evening as it's cooling off. But during the day itself, uh, except for some of the ground squirrels and things like that, um, most of them actually tend to just be resting during the day. Um, because of predators, because of the heat, because of lack of moisture, these animals are, you know, uh, really going to conserve what little energy and moisture you know they have. For plants it's much the same. I mean they can't move like animals can and so they have to conserve moisture in other ways. Um, they either have very small leaves or needles like the juniper or they have short little needles like the pinion pine covered in wax and the wax prevents moisture loss. You'll notice that many of the animals uh, are not really very brightly colored. They blend right in. The most common colorful bird up here is the scrub jay, which has a considerable amount of blue on it. But a lot of the other you know, birds are gray or brown, and they just really blend in as far as an adaptation. The bighorn sheep is certainly iconic for this type of area, for the habitat. Um, and they're always so much fun to watch, particularly in the spring when the, the young sheep, uh, the, the babies are playing together and jumping around and, and having a great time. So they're always fun to watch. And many people don't even realize that we do have toads and frogs in this area because it's basically a desert. And so these are animals that we don't generally see because it's so dry, they don't come out until the nighttime when the humidity is higher. By and large, most of them are going to, you know, do their reproduction, have their young in the spring, and then, you know, they're just basically going to survive 